And then it felt like I had like a roll of, like I felt like I almost could feel the blood in my body just like, I was freaking out. It felt like a tsunami. You like could it, feel the circulation. No way. <laughs> that is the magic word of the day. <laughs> circulation. Call in the next nine minutes. <laughs> Use the word circulation you win free tickets to Bombcast. Live recording. <laughs> Recreational Outrage Spaghetti Jake, this is Rat Bastard. We got our own podcast. Boop, 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 boop. That's our podcast, the Bongcast. It's called the, the Spaghetti Jake and Rat Bastard Bongcast. Yep. I actually just discovered there are a bunch of other Bongcasts. There are? Yeah. Oh, shit. But it's Spaghetti Jake and Rat Bastard Bongcast. <laughs> <laughs> with the Spaghetti Jake and the Rat Bastard, right? With the or with Spaghetti Jake and the Rat? Is there a the? I don't remember. We'll fix this in post. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> don't look at my ashy elbows, dude. God damn. Make myself conscious. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I was looking at. I know. I saw you looking at <laughs> Getting old, man. Yeah, dude. No, it's, it's always been, dude. You got a new elephant in town, huh? God damn. Why? Oh, it was because of your stepdad. Yeah, it's because of my black stepdad, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Outrage. Jesus, I, I'm learning a podcast. Learning how to build a podcast right now, and it's. It's in its infancy. The guy that gave me the Chromebook wants to be credited as a producer, and it doesn't work. All he's going to do is use it for porn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, he swears to me he never uses it for porn. I'm like, well, what are you going to use why it for? Why is it then? so slow? It, yeah. yeah. Like, like, yeah why it doesn't slow. it work? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> why else do you own a Chromebook? Yeah, a Chromebook. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. Right? New from yeah. Apple. It's the Chromebook 12. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe... Can you believe that people used to jerk off to books? <laughs> like that yeah. was the only way to get going was just a hot and heavy story. The Bible. It's crazy. Like I <laughs> Song of the Solomon. The Bible was the only book for a long time. It's true. The, the, <laughs> the Bible. What's the Sodom and Gomorrah? Those chapters are pretty, pretty dirty. I mean, if you like rave, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, they, that's, if that's what's get, if that's what gets you going, that, that's a whole genre on porn. Of male not rape, anymore. <laughs> not anymore. They took it off. Mm. They took the rape yeah. one off. Yeah, R word porn. Yeah. Oh, we're not supposed to say rape, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> not even a minute in. <laughs> I was thinking the other R word. Retard. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's got to be, right? There has yeah. to be. There's, there's got to be a page out there. Yeah, it's love on the spectrum. <laughs> you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I bet you uh, somebody films that somewhere. I'm Not me. Sure, I'm sure, yeah, somewhere. It, this world is... It's the that's going to shit. You know what? That's the going downs on each other joke. There, the millennials. (laughs) Aren't you a millennial? Yeah, I think it's the ones after us. Gen Z. Yeah. Yeah. What what are they called? What about the Ys? I mean, I think we're technically Y too. Generation Y. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Why, uh, Dave? Bust out that Chromebook. Let's look up retard porn. (sighs) Oh, I didn't bring it. Sorry. Damn. (laughs) Guys, we're never gonna be able to. Guest host at Rise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it open anymore. It's too. Dude, I. You ever had like one of those Oculus things, like the VR stuff? And that has revolutionized the world of porn, too. For you? Yeah. Dude, the, the, the 3D porn, the interactive porn, man. Really? Not, What's that like? It's, it's a whole nother level. Like, I, I, I bought it for gaming purposes, but immediately. I'm sure. Immediately. Porn. Yeah, like, like 13 how, hours in. 13 hours into owning the Oculus, yeah. you're on porn. 
is more hours logged on porn than games. That's crazy. I do see those videos, and I feel like I'm missing out. The, you know, sometimes the, the when VR I'm, porn videos. Yeah, you can't watch them without the the Oculus either, because then like they got the two frames and uh, it's like yeah. split up differently. Doesn't really? look right. No, for makes sure. you nauseous. It's like watching a 3D movie without the glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Probably depending on what you're watching, it makes us nauseous anyway. <laughs> the content, yeah, it's the R word porn, retard porn. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're really there. It's a funny combination of words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least we're not saying like retard rape porn. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate trifecta. Yeah. <laughs> oh the, my God. the holy trinity <laughs> of finishing. So would like the retard be the one getting raped or would he be the one raping? I no, it's the fact that rape is retarded. Yeah. Oh, rape oh, is retarded. Way to justify. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shining some light on a dark subject. That's very nice. It's that's just part a, of my uh, 2024 campaign. <laughs> <laughs> rape. It's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Last night I almost said a big no no word. That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I thought he was going to admit to something. <laughs> you did almost say a big no-no word. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, but uh, you know like in the moment when you censor and you say the right thing? It's uh -huh. like when you think of a bit and yeah. you almost are forgetting your bit, but as long as you go through the words correctly, you come out to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, actually, to, just to give you an idea of what he almost said, he called uh, Dana Fuller a porch pirate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, yeah. That is actually like a pretty good roast on Dana. <laughs> he does look like he's just sitting there. <laughs> perfectly free food. He looks we like he's walked a few planks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he gets lost in the Amazon <laughs> packages. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I do. Uh, we, we've got a few uh, things to get started, but I did want to say that I went up against Dana last night and who's riffing who and he crushed me. Oh, yeah. They didn't crush you. It was very. I was surprised. Oh, he might be offended, but I was surprised that he, he won. won. Well, just because of based off laughs. Like during it, honestly, because you had one that fucking I can't remember what you said, but you had one that fucking crushed, and then but then he also had some at the very end that just fucking yeah, yeah. so it wicked like hot. Really well it's the fun at the coffee boys. joint. It's not fun at Howie's Ralston Lounge. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, no, that was that was painful. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to get you on one at the coffee. You joint. know what's weird is because it's a completely different vibe. For sure, yeah. it was so much fun. Yeah, uh, it wasn't like. It wasn't packed, but it felt that way, yeah, which is yeah. like honestly so nice, because uh, I've heard multiple people say that was the most people they've had in a show in a while. Like at my shows, yeah, because I don't know. I mean, we all like go to shows and see shows and experience yeah. like different amounts of audience constantly, mm -hmm. yeah. and like that's the least amount I've had at a show in a long time. That's tight. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun, but yeah. it's it's because it's yeah, it's yeah. January. I guess it's like dry January, so few people are going to bars. Damn, mm. I can tell and Dylan's it's cold, elbows, man. <laughs> yeah, it's I like a, how the it's only dry thing January <laughs> on your arms. <laughs> the only thing ashier than your elbows is your shirt. <laughs> Dude, this used to be Outcast on my shirt. <laughs> this used to be Andre Three Thousand and Big Boy, dude. And it's fucking. I've washed it too many times. Yeah, God damn it, dude. Dry elbows, man. <laughs> they, they've been washed outcast. Yes, they've been washed outcast. Yes. <laughs> the golf clap. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the golf clap button. Perfect. <laughs> um, once we, we should introduce you guys. Yes. And we do want to talk about your podcast. Um, oh, you're looking for this. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Sorry. No, you're good. She went out. Talk about your podcast. You said it. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> you you want to introduce them to it, Spaghetti? Do right, our two yeah. guests. First of all, two guests returning. Spaghetti Jake, how Hello. you doing? Not too shabby. I'm feeling pretty rad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you look like it, dude. You look like you're doing. 
<laughs> and first time on the podcast, right? Yes, yes, indeed. Welcome, Dave Ness. Glad to be here. Yeah. yeah, the cryptid himself, the rat man himself. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Rat a tat tat goes the gat. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. Blurry. That's just a the rat in his natural environment. What does that mean? It's I don't know. Podcast. I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I'm like twenty deep in the fucking bong cast, man. Yeah, we we twenty do, deep is that what you said? We do a lot on the bong cast. We did mushrooms the last time, man. <laughs> fucking we did nuts. At the end of it, mm. I I that's did, the proper time. Do you think it helped? We should have done it before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe we yeah. should have done like it thirty five minutes man. before you started. We were yeah, rolling like, deep, and Aaron comes home. He's like, "God damn it! I yeah. wish <laughs> wish I had done them with you." <laughs> I either do them with you or I don't do them at all. Yeah, I get that, dude. <laughs> we, we played Diablo for like six straight hours, man. Yeah, it's a good time, man. And then I couldn't save my character. So fuck. So it's all God. Yeah. Fuck. I'm not surprised you guys found a way to eat on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're not surprised. By the <laughs> I, uh, earlier, I went into the fridge to get a beer and spaghetti definitely like... Oh yeah, scope to the, the fridge. It was pretty. See if he has any snacks. I was sniffing my nose. I was scratching my neck, man. Yeah. We're, we're kind of dry at the house right now, so he's hungry. He's very. <laughs> Don't get in his way. <laughs> Fucking. Guys should apply for food stamps. Spaghetti Jake stamps slope. that you can eat. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! They're like scratch and sniff stickers. <laughs> you could sell them. That makes sense. Yeah, for food. No, you could just sit to find someone outside of the store or that's going in and be like, hey, pick out $200 worth of food. I'll pay for it with my food stamps. Give me $100. It's like a food stamp scalper. I'd, yeah. I'd probably use it to get this. Now, if I could go to jail for that. But uh, <laughs> Food over money, man. True. Yeah, definitely. But I was 16 once, and <laughs> I wanted to buy an ounce of weed. So you were, you were on food stamps at 16? My whole family was, yeah. Definitely. My whole life, pretty much, dude. You don't get postage? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the proper answer. Thank you. <laughs> it's 2024, man. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever been on food stamps. There's moments where my parents were on food stamps. Well, if they're, if your parents were on food stamps, you were on food stamps. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. How they, that's how they that's how they got the food, food stamps. Because <laughs> yeah. they had you. That makes sense. You actually. were probably a part of that. I never Dude, put two and two together. The, f- the first time I ever realized I... <laughs> it would be I, funny if you had to weigh the kids yeah. before <laughs> you, <should. laughs> you apply. <laughs> that was the first time I ever realized that like maybe, maybe we were poor. We were in the store and we were picking up stuff out. And I remember I asked my mom if... She had enough food stamps or something, like really like the way a five year old would. Uh-huh. And she got so mad at me. And she was like, Don't fucking bring up food stamps. They're embarrassing me in the store. <laughs> yeah. As if anyone in Pueblo cares. But Yeah, I yeah. was they had like free lunches at my school and I asked my mom if she could apply for one because she was never giving me lunch money. And she was like Oh, I'm just a bad mom for not being able to afford food. Yeah. And like just never applied for it. So. <laughs> I just don't get to eat. <laughs> yeah. I, I found my ways. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. There's a thing about the free food that always does feel a little like uh, a, a, a bummer. But as a kid, you're just like, look, it's free food. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Like super donuts. Did you guys ever get those? The little super donuts? Yeah, that's what like we used to get. Vitamins and nutrients. Uh-huh. What the hell's a super That's donut? how they got yeah. Florida kids to eat healthy. <laughs> they called it a super donut. I mean, I'm definitely enticed. I, yeah. <laughs> I, they were so it's good. It's like a donut that's broccoli flavored or something. It's super antioxidants, what man. Like, <laughs> like, what was it? Yeah. It tasted amazing for sure. It tasted like a regular donut, but they called them super donuts. They're just really big or what? I think they were healthy. I think you were right that they like <laughs> snuck some vitamins in. <laughs> There's were you like put a, like antibiotics in the donuts or something. <laughs> Kids uh, heartworm vaccines. medicine. <laughs> vaccines. <laughs> in, there's just insulin in the donuts. <laughs> just anxiety Why do these yeah. kids keep getting down syndrome? It's the super donuts. <laughs> Chilled with the vaccine. <laughs> I'm super now. They don't I'm get political. Super strong. <laughs> Have you guys ever had to take a driving class? 
class, no. Like, because you got a speeding ticket. So I've gotten too many tickets, and I had to take a driving class today. And uh, it was really the most boring thing I've ever gone to. So, but at one so when it starts, there's this lady who like she's I don't know. She has like a she has like a ring light and stuff, and it's like her camera is like set up in the corner of her. Is this the teacher or another? This is another p- participant of the Zoom driving class. Not surprised a, a yeah, woman yeah. is in there. Yeah, several. Yeah, several <laughs> women. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I remember she was just so loud and at one point the lady asked her that she, she put her username as kinda and uh, the teacher was like, can you, we're going to change your I don't know what Kinda is, but we're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to have to change it to like at least your first name and she was like it's kinda, my username is kinda and the you we were like, okay, well, what's your, what's like your name? She's like, well, I don't, I'm trying to protect my identity. I don't want anyone to. What? Yeah. And then she was like, well, I at least need to have your name just for the class. And she was like, uh, and she was like, yeah, so your name needs to be there. So I know you're here. And she goes, so I could just have someone else. I could put my name and have someone else be here. And I wouldn't have to be here. Is that what you're saying? And the teacher pauses for me and she goes, well, I guess so. Yeah, I guess. You <laughs> wow. <laughs> The loophole, man. <laughs> Did, yeah, but then, is there any? It wasn't. It wasn't like uh, Julian Assange in a wig. Do you think it was just somebody trying to stay secret? No, nah, she was just trying to. She was just clearly on meth. <laughs> she was like talking. She was like talking the whole time. With like when, because you have to mute yourself, mm-hmm. and so you you would see like because I I put it on the page where you could see everybody, and uh, like you could see the teacher talking, and then just down here this chick's just fucking. Like yelling at the fucking screen, like walking back and forth in her room. And wow! <laughs> and at one point, the teacher like asked her. She was like, "Do you need to like something going on in your room?" Like, <laughs> and she was like, "No, I just have really bad ADD. I'm just that's why I'm muted, so you guys don't have to hear me." And it's like, oh, <laughs> oh you yeah. know, she's just going nuts. Yeah, oh yeah. But then, so then when we came back, there was another guy who uh, he didn't know that he. What was. do you think she's saying? She's commenting about everything that's being said for sure. Oh, really? You can read like sometimes she's like, like, like <laughs> "Hold on a second, I have to mute." Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was Why so funny. Do this? Uh, but then uh, I know how to after one of our breaks, this guy didn't know that he wasn't he wasn't muted, and so like as we're waiting to just get started, this guy who's not his camera's not on. But he's not <laughs> muted. All of a sudden, you just hear like the N word seven times. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these dudes, like clearly get an argument, and the teacher's just like her eyes get off. <laughs> and then you hear you hear one of the guy goes, "Man, that he better not be selling. He better not be selling." And then you start hearing like a kid crying and stuff. Oh, wow. And then she's like, "Hey, uh, Isaiah, you need to you need to mute your video." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah. so, that, that sounds yeah, yeah entertaining. Yeah, taking a driver's nice. class, but man. it was from nine o'clock to two o'clock in the afternoon. So Jeez. that's every community class, that? huh? When was that? Today, today. Yeah, yeah I had dude, a, had a I had a day, day, dude. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Uh, Evan, uh, Evan, Joe, yeah. Dave's roommate, Phil, comedian. Uh, he had to take those classes, and he did them in the living room, and it just makes me picture all the was, random background noises that were in his videos. He was complaining the whole time. He'd be like, Dave, come here. Look at this. He'd like have to take a quiz, and it would just yeah. be like, what color is a stop sign? And he's yeah, like, isn't this the stupidest thing you've ever seen? I'm like, yeah, man, I finished school. I know how stupid these questions can be. It's also stupid to go 80 miles in a 15. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like you know what you did. It's, it's an over exaggeration, <laughs> but he speeds a lot. Yeah, I do too. I guess. <laughs> have you have you heard about the recent tickets he's been getting in the mail lately? He was he was Concert out of, tickets. He was out of town, and and Devesh had borrowed his car and <gasps> took tollways for like five days, and he's been getting. <laughs> Tickets. So it's just pictures of Devesh in the car. It's Devesh in the car. (laughs) (laughs) And he's like, I didn't even have my fucking car. (laughs) It's every day. I'm like, you got another toll. God damn it, Devesh. God damn. That's hilarious. It was so funny. He probably did that on purpose. 100%. (laughs) I don't think Devesh makes mistakes, man. No, I don't think so. (laughs) He he knows what he did. This would be so funny. There was probably an option (laughs) to like put coins in, and he chose... No, you go. can't put coins in the toll road. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can? 
Is At least the ones road? that down I think up. back in the day, I don't know if yeah, you. No, this I'm is sure. on the, the new expressway has like a million cameras. Yeah, they take pictures of you and send it your send it to you in the mail. You want yeah. crush sure it? There's parts. There's I don't like yeah. that. You can't stop. Everyone's going seventy five miles an hour when you get into it. The minute you cross yeah, that's that true. line, yeah, you too. can't stop. Yeah. See, I used to stop, and then there was a, like a lady inside of the booth, and she would yeah. take like seventy five cents, and then she'd open up the thing. I think so. Now what they do is uh, you have to buy like a sticker and put it on your car. Yeah. And they just take a picture of you every, like, 500 feet or something like that. Damn. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, they... Tell us about your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. From afar. This is Spaghetti Jake. This is Rat Bastard. We got our own podcast. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Up. Up. That's, uh, that's our podcast, the Bongcast. It's is, called the, the Spaghetti Jake and Rat Bastard Bongcast. Yep. I actually just discovered there are a bunch of other Bongcasts. There are? Yeah. Oh, shit. But it's Spaghetti Jake and Rat Bastard Bongcast. <laughs> with the Spaghetti Jake and the Rat Bastard, right? With the or with Spaghetti Jake and the Rat Is there a the? I don't remember. We'll fix this in post. Yes, I had to do so many. <laughs> I, I, all the episodes blur together at this point. I'm, yeah, ed- I'm editing all of them. We basically just go in there. We do what the bong says. What is the bong? Like a magic you? eight ball? All sorts of stuff. Mainly just to get <laughs> to take another puff. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That's usually a bong That's guy. what it says yeah. every time, yeah. which is kind of weird. Yeah. I was expecting something different sometimes. It's a good time. Dave's on the bongos. I'm on the iPad. We're jamming. We're making music, and we're talking about dogs, cryptids, and then, like, anecdotes. Anecdotes. Yeah. All right. I like that, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so wait are the three? You said cryptids in there cryptids, yeah, yeah dude. You know, i cover the cryptid cryptids? segments man I really a lot of i love the See, now you got me interested the yeah. one i did this week was hogzilla talking about the gigantic 2000 pound hog that they shot and killed in arkansas like, oh so they f- they found it and like proved that it was real it's like the elephants in the congo kind of shit where Damn. everyone thought it was a cryptid but then they found them uh, it feels so good to be like proven correct too. You fucking hunt that thing down. And there was you- Hogzilla. There was Hog Kong. Was another one. I don't know. I'm getting into it. That's that's the cryptid segment though. I mean, the other one we do that's very popular, the dog segment. Yeah, dog of the day. Dog of the day. Yeah. So who, who who's your most recent dog of the day? Uh, we did Dash Hounds, which are like oh, wiener dogs. Of the day, but yeah, yeah, but you least. know. The more I'm doing it, the more I'm like considering like what's a famous dog that is this. Ooh, breed, right? you could highlight a special puppy. Balto. Yeah, what? Air Bud, man. Balto. Beethoven. We did Huskies Balto. the episode before. <laughs> you don't know Balto, dude? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know Balto. <laughs> Are you fucking with me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> the way you violently coughed into the mic. <laughs> that scared me, It's like man. we woke him up. <laughs> McGruff. Crime dog McGruff. Oh yeah, uh, Wishbone. That's a classic. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Wishbone. Shiloh. Yeah. Shiloh was Beagle, right? You remember Shiloh? Yeah, Shiloh. I cried about Shiloh. I didn't even read it. You didn't even. What about what was the what was the uh, fuck Sheltie? What's the Sheltie dog? The what? Sheltie. Had, like, several movies. Airbud? No, not Airbud. Before Yeller. the original. No, that's a border. Like, the original co- the border. It was a border collie. Old Yeller. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's one I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> Shot that idea in the back of the barn. <laughs> Otis and uh, what was the other one? Milo Otis and Otis. Milo, Milo, Milo and, Otis. Otis. and Otis. Apparently, multiple dogs died on that. Yeah, <laughs> what was, what and was cats. That? Yeah, <laughs> the dogs died on set. They yeah. went through. Uh, well, they like Lassie. literally. Lassie, Lassie, Lassie. Yeah. Lassie. Hey, sorry, no, you found it. Just it. Popped into my head. Lassie's yeah. a good dog. Dude. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, a sweet yeah. Dog right there. I never yeah. met a mean Lassie. She saved a girl out of a well or something. What's that, Lassie? Oh. Yeah, Timmy spaghetti Timmy Jake's stuck in the well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw spaghetti at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's something you want to say with like an Irish accent too. You're oh, like, Lassie. get over here, Lassie. Yeah. Lassie. That's a good little Lassie you got there. <laughs> Hi-ty-toy. The losses in this establishment are heathens. <laughs> <laughs> ass grass or lass e. Yes, ass grass or lassie. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The last trashy lassie that I packed my ass cracked <laughs> 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 was mean to me. 
Nice. <laughs> See, that's Bongcast vibes, yeah. right? Now. Exactly. <laughs> Everything is a song on the Bongcast. Oh, Everything yeah. is a song. Did yeah. you know uh, each state has their own dog? Like, there's a breed dedicated oh, really? to each state. I didn't yeah. know that actually. Yeah, it's like I mean, a lot of them you can expect, like with the Boston Terrier being like Massachusetts and all that. Mm. But uh, I would have pictured Texas. Uh huh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. <laughs> Boston, okay, yeah, I, yeah. The Austin Terrier. My um, character is stupid. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Just right. doing your job. <laughs> I uh, it's really yeah. I found out the one in uh, Colorado. So the Colorado state dog is rescue dogs. Oh, figures the most hack. They're phoning in. Colorado. That's not even a species of dog, man. They are their own breed. Those rescue dogs. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen some things, man. Spaghetti Spaghetti works at a dog shelter, man. You oh, talked I about that on here. Doggy daycare. It's doggy daycare. Very different. They go home. They go home. <laughs> Have you ever been tempted to take one? There's ones that try to convince you to. Really? Sure. Yeah, there's one named Tater Tot, man. We're best friends, man. Yeah. I think you talked about Tater Tot before. Mr. Tater Tot. He's yeah. a good boy. Shout out Tater Tot. He's he, he regular bills. <laughs> For sure. He's a good boy. <laughs> On Christmas, they give like these. They put these stockings out, yeah. and they just say like, "Oh, their uh, names and everything." Well, they have everyone, all the people that work their names, right? And I thought it was like for just fellow employees. So I started going through the stocking, and it was like, "Here's a Starbucks gift card from Tater Tot. Here's a <gasps> here's a Sonic gift card from Araya." Oh like, my god! And I wow. got like literally like maybe sixty dollars worth of gift cards from dogs from random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, there was a shot, like there was a Smirnoff shot, like shooter yeah. in my, and it said it was from from Leo, which now, it was funny because Leo, he's the kind of dog that would put what kind of dog is that? Shots a sh- a shooter yeah. in. <laughs> I hope you, he's old enough. Yeah, he's like three years old. He's the bad boy everyone loves. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rascal. Yeah, I bet. I sa- he sounds like a rascal. He's a rescue, you know. Like, Ooh. is he a rescue? He, well, I would say so. He's rescue vibes. He, okay, res- dogs that like grow up around a shit ton of other dogs in a very confusing and crazy environment. They're built different, man. Right. You can Trouble smell makers. it on them. It's like public they're school like orphans. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they got they orphaned got their dogs. Own, they got their own. Black Aww. stepdads, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool, though, that you had all these little gifts from the puppies. You had, like, a K-9 Days of Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, He's good, good at that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought there were 24. <laughs> you thought there were 24 Days of Christmas? It doesn't work for the joke with the K-9. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're on all 24s. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't work. That doesn't work. All 24s fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Is dog working out, dude? That'd be so cool. Jacked pit bulls. Yeah, Jack, Jack Terry. <laughs> Do you have any scary dogs at work? Like dogs that you don't want to be in a dark room with or something or like uh, a back alley? There was one name. I mean, he wasn't scary towards people, but he was scary towards other dogs. So you felt fear when Ooh. he was around other dogs. What kind of dog was he? A pit bull. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah those are, we all figured. I boss of the a, schoolyard. It's not a stereotype. I was doing a grub home the other day. I don't agree with that. <laughs> Talking this, about dogs. I will say, like, a bad pit bull, bro. Like, they got the jaws of, like, a crocodile. Oh, like, yeah. They they can do damage, so you have to be more fucking, like, on their ass about yeah. it. His name was Cujo, actually. Fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jesus Cujo Christ. loves people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he won't bite. Yeah. He's friendly. Dude, I had a grub hub the other day and uh like sometimes I'll leave you instructions like leave it on my leave it by my door or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I got to these people's house and they have like a barred fence that's not even it's not a good fence. Mm-hmm. But uh and they just have three of the most jack pit bulls I've ever seen sitting at the outside where uh-huh. I have to walk. So I've tried to call those people like three or four times because I wasn't about to go in their yard. You know yeah, what I mean? stranger danger. Yeah, man. dude. And, and so and they already were like looking at my car and like mugging me, dude, all these uh-huh. people. <laughs> so I called them like three times. Nobody answers. Hugging you. Yeah. So I, <laughs> so I, uh, I texted. I was like, yo, I'm not going in your yard. Like, I'm just going to leave it right directly in front of the fence. So I did, and as soon as I got to the fence, dude, one of the pitbulls straight up just fucking 
put his whole fucking head through the <laughs> fence, dude, and started going crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that ran back to Fence my fighting. Yeah, yeah that's a big thing. You're not even a mailman. No, I mean, close. He's a food yeah, man. fence yeah. fighting, man. Whenever there's a fence, it, it triggers, like, dogs all of a sudden have, like, this weird, it's like a weird anxiety thing where they, yeah. like, let it all out. They could be really nice dogs, but they could also fence fight. There's a dog named Arlo that I have to fucking, I can't get into his yard, but he could get into my yard. Yeah. There's right, a right. there's a documentary about uh, that with, um, like, I think it's called The Sandlot. <laughs> and it's about a dog. <laughs> it's My grandpa loves that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a blind guy in it, right? Yeah. Does it have a blind you're, guy? you're killing me. You're killing me, small. Yeah, the very, like isn't the baseball player blind in that movie? <laughs> no. Oh, <my> <laughs> <laughs> Is there a blind baseball player in Salo? I, I don't think so. I thought the guy in the house was bl- blind. The guy Wasn't it was Ray Charles? Dog? Oh, the old guy? Yeah. Was it Ray Charles? Was it? No. Mm. It was, was Barry it Bonds. A, was it even a black guy? I thought it was an old black guy. I'll be honest. I've never seen the movie. I've never all. seen Sandlot. Never seen Sandlot. We're Wait. not baseball people. We're basketball people. In I'm not Indiana. a baseball guy. Have you seen Clifford? Clifford. Big Rag Dog? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. See, what a fucking dog. junk, dude. Wrong. Uh, it's Big Dogs. Yeah, but Clifford was friendly. Yeah. I was on bait. <laughs> <laughs> he, Cl- <laughs> Clifford doesn't have to fence fight. There's not fences big enough, man. Right. True. You can't put Jeez. that thing in a box. Amen, Scooping bro. up Clifford's shit, man. How fucking... <laughs> Honestly, like, that is... Terrifying. Like... No. One of my favorite sketches... He, uh, get, he gets a zoom. He's halfway to Philadelphia, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of my favorite sketches is just a construction company gets paid to build a, a house... And a dog house, and when they come, they mix up the two. So the dog house is huge, and the human house is super small. And they still try to sell it to the people. They're like, but, you know, it's very roomy. <laughs> There's a lot of space in here. You're telling me you didn't see? You never watched Clifford the Big Red? Oh, Man? I know Clifford, you know Clifford very well. They have like yeah, a whole. You're up on food stamps, dude. Yeah. You watch Clifford. <laughs> 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 I know you didn't have any more prime time PBS, man. PBS, dude. Yeah. The only reason we had a shortage of food was because I was eating all that. Yeah, you guys needed food stamps. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Dude. There was a point, you know. Yeah, it was specifically for you. I think it was actually like no, I'm thinking about it. It was like some COVID shit. Like it was Kobe. Like, COVID. Oh, COVID. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about recently. Yeah. Not when you were growing up. Yeah, not too much when I was growing. I'm sure there's a point where we needed it, but my parents don't know how to ask for help. Yeah, yeah. I was tr- I'm thinking like. What if Clifford had like a humping issue? Like, what yeah. if he was like humping the neighbor's he house? He is a boy, so he probably did at one point. Yeah, but they can't put that in a kid's. Clifford book. the Big Red Rocket. How, how would? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try how how the hell do a... you neuter Clifford? Honestly, you can't. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta hire like a, a like the people that come to cut trees down. You pump them full of hell. <laughs> He's uh he's Elephant. like into the leash. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a bigger leash. <laughs> All right, we got about 30 minutes. He has enough horse tranquilizers to kill a horse. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an operation right yeah. there. That is a multi-man team. To Put a muzzle on it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was going to print a bunch of posters. Uh uh, about uh, with Dylan's face all over it because I've been missing my dog. Oh, that, was, that was that was sentimental. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done a podcast in a while. Oh, oh really? So, yeah, it does feel nice to get in here. How yeah, long yeah. ago was it? Well, uh, we, we we built up like four episodes, so we had to dump a, yeah, uh, yeah dump yeah, some yeah. content and yeah. get an archive. It's been a archive. couple weeks, I feel like, and then it snowed really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I don't like that. Yeah, I'm not driving that shit, dude. <laughs> I hate driving in general. So yeah. when snow happens, I I tend to try to stay inside, man. I yeah. heard you got a sweet whip though. Oh yeah, it's it's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's an old an old truck. It's purple. I picture oh, you as cool. as, as uh, ten. I don't know any other details. So you're driving around now. <laughs> I don't know any other details. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I'm the same boat. It's an old <laughs> purple truck. It has wheels. Yeah. Yeah. A couple mirrors. It's nice. I, I I've never had a car where you could like play your own music, and so it's it's nice to actually like get lost in your own realm of like. Yeah, that's a food stamp statement. 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you made fun of my Ashy elbows. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. That's very true, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once he mentions them, I, I gotta look at them again. You know, I, know, I can't man. not look at them. I'm just so confused, man. Like food stamps, but you can't buy lotion. Like what the hell? I put lotion on, dude. <laughs> I put lotion. On, I've scrubbed them, dude. Like you could start a fire weight. with those bad boys. Yeah, yeah. It looks yeah, like yeah. there was a fire on them. Yeah, that's what it's it like. Is, you were dude. sanding a table with your elbows, man. Like what the. <laughs> I don't have a comeback, dude. <laughs> it's the people's ashtray. Yes, yeah. That's what I do I, at night. I just, I just relax my elbows and ashtrays. They That's say it's good for the elbows. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like a Pompeii kind of uh, like treatment. When my, when my dad died, he asked me to spread his ashes on my elbows. <laughs> Your elbows? Yeah, on my elbows. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, well, I uh, let's do some of these segments. Yeah, let's do this draft. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, I did. Uh, I wanted to say, I don't know if you guys, uh, I just, I recently, you know, I, I don't know what's about to happen, dude. <laughs> I just, I, I made an adult leap. Uh-huh. I got engaged. Not engaged. This oh, is yes. yes. I got engaged. Yeah, yeah. yeah congrats. Play the man. flute. I'm not, I'm not putting my mouth on it. Engaged. Kids to Engaged. Kids to kids. Kids to kids. Weddings. Happiness. You found your love in your life. But enough about your ears. Live forever. Engaged ears. Yeah, I get it, dude. Yeah. Never gonna go out with your boys again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I got uh, a little box. Uh, their their spearmint and their yeah their engagements. Mm. My God, man, that is. They're for when you cheat on your fiance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're giving yourself a pass <laughs> with a box of Altoids? <laughs> the box said it was okay. <laughs> we all make a st- mistakes, babe. I got 26 mistakes in here for the engagement. Is the, That's what I like. So that's a good pun. The yeah, biggest good mistake pun. is to hold us to the things we've done in the past. It is. As somebody now that I... I <laughs> I've now committed, right? I'm in a I'm a pretty big adult now. Yeah. And I know a thing or two that maybe you guys don't. Oh. Oh. Okay. So as a committed uh, yeah, 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 yeah. As a man that, get that a lot. Yeah. commits and knows a thing about monogamy and, and relationships and stuff, I just want you guys to know love is out there. You'll yeah. find oh, it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could love as a as middle. a divorce yeah, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> knows more than you. <laughs> <laughs> so is hate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you see, I, I may not know what it's like to have a loving relationship. Okay, <laughs> he might not know what it's like for a woman to touch him. But <laughs> it's it's different. and he never will. But <laughs> I, I've okay, I've, I've been loved. Can <laughs> dunk down left and right. right? <laughs> yeah, the only ring you get is onion. <laughs> Damn, dude. You gonna let him do that? <laughs> oh, ring. yeah, that makes sense. I was confused. <laughs> he heard her, he, he heard food and his brain <laughs> stopped working. <laughs> onion and thought chili was coming or something. <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be a cool twist. <laughs> it was a good twist. <laughs> Just a bowl of chili comes in. We did have a security board last time. Oh, so man. Oh, I hate yeah. to bring it to you because Mitch Jones is here. You know, you gotta. Bring, bring out it, all yeah. the stops. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's a fat guy. You got <laughs> to tra- keep him happy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen his uh, wrestling persona that he has, Mitch Jones? The uh, Z- chocolate I've heard here. About oh my yeah. god, I haven't seen it. No, <laughs> no, but that is a great in, uh, intro to the segment. So we're gonna do the uh, a draft. Mm. Yeah, a draft of sorts. Do you remember me telling you? Tell me what that we were doing this draft, this fantasy draft. A what? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did. Yeah, 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 right, 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 right. So, like the most, the most, uh, the most offensive wrestling storylines. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So, how does this work? Are you gonna have your own, and then I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Own? We'll we'll draft, and then I don't know. We'll see. We'll decide who has the best. Yeah. Should we do like we're, three? We're avid fans of wrestling. Should as we do well, like three yeah. rounds? I thought we were gonna punch up. 
one really offensive one. Maybe we could do that at the end. There's so many. Fair enough. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> There's you know, they so don't really many. need punching up, to be honest with you. <laughs> They're punching really down, down on every one of them, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so how many, how many overall? Like, should we do three? I think three is appropriate. Three is appropriate. Yeah. And then we could, should we do like a snake draft? So like, say like he went, it's so like say if it went Dave, you, are you going to draft? You? Wait, so for the snake draft, is it only Jake that we can pick? Jake the Snake. Yeah, only, you can only speak Jake the, the Snake. The DDT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damien. I mean, he has plenty of stuff we could probably do. But, uh, <laughs> so that's where, like, the order he reverses used every snake time. for evil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, it bit Randy. Yeah, so I was about to say. Macho Randy Man. Savage, it, yeah. it, snake bit him. So, yeah. so it's a draft, so we can't use other, like, we can't use one that's been brought up. <laughs> Munched no, on the man. Up, it's it was off awesome. board. Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Okay, so that makes three even. Okay. Do you, are you going to draft two? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So you know... You know wrestling? I know some wrestling. You know some, dude. Look at him. He's a big man. He so loves I, wrestling. How yeah, should dude. we determine the order? Boudica, boudica. <laughs> um, I think we should wrestle. For we should it. wrestle. For <laughs> it's only <Yeah>. logical. <laughs> yeah. In a tiny room with three giant men. Yeah. Let's and take an adult. shirts off, yeah. boys. Yeah. <laughs> Widest nipple in the room. Widest Those nipple. Ashiest elbows. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say you got me beat. Time. You got me beat. Oh, just, yeah. <laughs> No, I, 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 one, of, one of you guys to go first. Dude, yeah, see, you're on the verge, dude. No, no your elbows yeah, are knees. That's why they're not ashy. Jesus Christ. Your knees you are got... elbows. That's why your knees are ashy. Hey. Big elbows. All right. Mine? Yeah. Let's see. Thanks, man. <laughs> that's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. I think you got big <laughs> elbows. It's like calling a girl cute ankles. You know? Swell like, bows. Yeah, man. I feel all gollied up. You should. <laughs> I say let's not, let's not switch the... the Let's just do it in order and then start back over again because then someone will be picking twice. Yeah, that makes sense. You know True. I mean? They'll get first, last pick and the first Okay, the so draft. why don't we explain it fully real quick? Okay, so we're doing a draft. We yes. Draft, so once it's off the board, once someone said it, you can't use it for yours. Oh, speaking of which, while we're talking about draft and the, the you know the yeah. whole wars are going on, hey, yeah. this, one's, uh, this one's a message to the president. Hey, draft beer. Not me. Wow. That was good. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. I you. saw a bald eagle fly by when you said that, man. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's what a real American Mr. does. Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fucking Sorry. Biden. Would you, rather, <laughs> would you rather fight in Ukraine or Palestine? <laughs> oh, good question. Uh, Palestine. Yeah, yeah. No, I shouldn't say that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation. You're like, what are you, stupid? Yeah. Israel. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta fight for my people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you busting through the way again wall, too political. Like, um, the <laughs> dude with the shiny helmet. Oh my god! Like yeah. the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I need? To Oi, explain? yeah. What? Oh. oh. My god. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to explain? You guys understand how a draft works, right? Yeah. So we each sort get to pick. We'll do three rounds. Okay. So once it's been, maybe write it down. Once it's been taken, uh, and then we'll. I don't know. Discuss which ones. Who has yeah. the best? Just just bringing up like WWE storylines, story, fights, wrestling, you know, yeah, any wrestling, like anything. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I know some vague storylines and stuff, but a lot of times I like the specific moments. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The recreate, if it's, yeah. If it's, yeah, you okay, know, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Who's all right. first? One of these guys. Um, let's leave the captain let's spaghetti. Let's, we'll go. We'll go. I'll go last. Yeah. I'm so nervous, man. I, so we'll go. We'll go this way. I did just draw a straw. <laughs> You drew a straw. Yeah. Okay. I, that's how we usually that's determine who goes first. Straw. That's a short straw. Uh. That's a pretty good straw. I feel like you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> you had to draw I mean, straws. You, you need to think for a minute? No, I got mine. All right. All right. You go first. We'll go this way. Okay. So number one would be the most offensive, right? In your mind, yeah. Or whatever. Okay. So we start on like most offensive. Yeah. Big O's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd say a, a very classic one, very widely known one, I would say, in the wrestling world, is uh, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio fighting for <sighs> Dominique's custody yes, okay. in a ladder match. That was The emotions are high in that. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was like WCW. But I don't think it was WWE. It was, w, it was. It was on SmackDown. I remember, dude. Oh, really? Because it was like. Yeah, it was Rey Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, it was like that time where like I was old enough to start understanding that like this shit probably wasn't real. Uh huh. But at the same time, I was like, it is real. 
Yeah. And I was like, they're going to fight for custody in a ladder match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this like, is, this is, that, was the, that was the Rey Mysterio one. Not the one where he tag teamed with Dave Batista, right? Like, that was oh, another custody man. battle, but that wasn't a ladder match. I don't uh, think any of that is accurate. No. It was. <laughs> well, he does tag yeah. team with Batista, but that's like literally like so long later and has nothing to do with custody. I thought. Yeah. Sorry. This is custody of a of yeah yeah Eddie Guerrero yeah Rey Mysterio ladder match totally for custody of Dominic <laughs> yeah and they have like throughout the story it's like there's like moments where Eddie's like I'm your puppy and like <laughs> <laughs> like there's moments where Dominique Ray's son is just like I like you more you know like, they they used it as part of storyline now because Dominic Mysterio wrestles now yeah exactly. oh yeah he actually like got the most matches like. Out of any WWE wrestler really? Wait, last year. So was it to see who was the step dad or who was the step ladder? So the Oh my, my. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so sick, fast. He's, so yeah, fast. He's good, dude. This is what he does. Yeah, but you, you have a calculator back there and time. Budaga, <laughs> <Budaga. laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I ruined the conversation. Yeah, but I, I'd say that was mine. That's, That's number one. How what old? How old Vicky? was Dominic? Or what? Vicky was Eddie Guerrero's wife. Yeah, yeah. she, she was the, like in the wheelchair, right? Yeah, later on, like yeah, with, uh, was with like, Edge, right? Yeah, that was that was actually a fun one. That actually had a pretty offensive moment. I might I might save that one for a later on pick for sure. True, that, that reminded me. But yeah, she'd go out and say, excuse me. That's like, oh, yeah, such a classic heel. Like, that's how do you how you get heat in any room is just being <laughs> an old, like a, a bitchy Karen looking lady. Yeah, saying, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me over and over. <laughs> and over. Excuse me. Yeah, it, that was actually pretty like that was classic wrestling right there for me. That, that was when I was like balls deep watching it. Oh, Seems. Yeah. I mean, that's when I at least was in. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, uh, I remember the edge and. Vicky, like they were like married or whatever, bro. They would like tongue kiss like so aggressively, and Edge was known for doing that. But like with Vicky specifically, it was as a kid, I was like, oh, you Edge, you fucking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Edge in bed though? I bet you he's insane. Oh, doing the I bet you he goes to one yeah, side yeah. of the bed and <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> charges up with those eyes. The <laughs> ultimate edging, dude. It's getting True. edged by Edge. He, 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 education, <laughs> goon wrestling. Yeah. He never finishes. He has no finishers. <laughs> I'm going to show you my spear. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. So, uh, Eddie versus Ray. Yeah. That's Dominic your draft. Uh, Dominic. For custody. For custody of, of Dominic. Yeah. All right. Just yeah. the way they used a child for it. You know? Sure. Yeah, I'll take care of all right down. Yeah, but that's the ultimate belt. Like custody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the ultimate battle. <laughs> it's, it shows who's the champ. Uh huh. Dominic then fucks then up and get a championship belt whipping. Like, like he's taking off. <laughs> You'll get the belt. And he pulls the whole WWE. <laughs> to to I'm sorry. I'm getting excited. <laughs> 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 all right. What's yours? It's wrestling. Me? Yeah. Mm. There's there's a lot, man, but I really think I've been watching a lot of Mark Henry lately. The old Mark Henry sexual chocolate, the rebrand when him and China were hooking up, and then he hooks up with China's friend Sammy, and turns out to be uh, no China was she Oriental? <laughs> they they spelled it with a Y. That's a good one. <laughs> that is one. Yeah. That's a good one, man. <laughs> There's good and bad ones, man. That was a good one. <laughs> that was on the edge, man, of racism. <laughs> That's it's good. Better than being on the Triple H. I thought China. <laughs> yeah, and, and like World's Strongest Man wanted to rebrand as sexual chocolate, so he was like the ladies' man. He lost weight, and he was trying to hook up with everyone. It was like He wound chocolate. up hooking up with Sammy, and Sammy was a man in disguise. You don't remember that? Like, he wanted to do like multiple people, and he wanted to have China and her friend get together, and it wound up China leaving, and Sammy and him getting a little hot. Wow. Mark Henry's like going in for the, and she takes off her wig, and he's like, oh, 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 it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty offensive nowadays. He's, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, no, yeah, wrestling with more than just. <laughs> 
<laughs> People in the ring, you know. World's right. strongest transitioning woman. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Henry, man. Mark Henry. Sexual chocolate. Yeah, I think that's pretty offensive. You kind of look like a white Mark Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> Sexual white chocolate, yeah, man. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> you knew it was a slow night on Raw when they had the, like the, the face. They go, you're going to face the world's strongest man. Like You immediately knew that it was going to be a boring episode of Raw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you knew Stone Cold wasn't coming with me. Yeah. To a hand. Do yeah. you think... Do you think their outfits relate to how exciting they are? No. No? Because I think they all have pretty Look sick fits. Outfit. It's just fucking speedo. A little black True. underwear. Well, I mean, his, his outfits, like, during promos and, like, going out there, he'd, he'd have, like... Oh, the robe. Yeah, he would, yeah. But I was thinking of Ric Flair or Stone Cold having the vest or Mankind having the mask and all so those like kinds of things that, like... Andre the Giant, though, was just a black leotard, you know? Like, that's True. pretty generic, Big but then he's... Was just a leotard. That yeah. A, that was a completely different, like, uh, era, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, all, he His... The drive for him was he was a like fucking nine foot golem. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, true. There was also like I mean there was like really not like Sting right was like super painted the face up paint and all gold that. dust. Yeah. Yeah. My boy Jeff Hardy he got, he got me into wrestling a lot because of his like just his overall fucking I mean he had face paint on all the time these <sighs> weird arm things that my sister dude he was the ultimate me. emo the dude. girls yeah. would wear those same exact things uh -huh. dude my si my sister would be like that's what girls wear and i'm like fuck you it was, <laughs> the can girls wear. do that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can girls when he was supposed to wrestle sting and he he showed up drunk yeah and that was like a real thing like yeah. that was like beyond the story yeah and they like had to stop it and sting had to like him. actually pin him like yeah they, like, they, physically hold him down you can see him. sting up go up to him and be like i'm gonna pin you and then he fucking does the fucking holds him like, down no he does like his finisher on him real quick and then holds him down as he pins him wow yeah. and then jeff hardy sits up he's like what well, no shit, but he was fucked, dude. You can tell, like dude, documentary he, he would be yeah. so tight. That would be, awesome. he, yeah. He comes out of the, the like the back, and he's walking like this. He's like, and he takes forever to come out. From and he the like, back too. yeah, it took him like ten minutes to even come out because he was so fucked. And then the like Eric his, Bischoff his comes music out to would stop go on, it. and like they would be waiting for him. And the normal time he comes out, like they do the camera angles and everything, waiting for him. And then he doesn't come out, and then he finally comes out, but he's like walking super slow. And oh like man! Doing his dance. I feel like alcohol isn't the drug to do. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, he had other problems. It, it was too. it was painkillers. Yeah, oh yeah, and he would be, do like whippets and shit. He, he, painkillers. He when when you're jumping off an 18 foot ladder, you're gonna yeah, have some painkillers in your I life. Think about it. Like that's really all he. Like I love Joe. He was like my favorite wrestler. <laughs> but all he did, like all he did, <laughs> off the ladder, swan jump off bomb. the ladder. Yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> dude, I remember Spears. When I first, like one of the like big moments in wrestling I was coming up was Jeff Hardy versus uh, the Undertaker in a ladder match. I love the Undertaker. Oh, Undertaker is one of my yeah, best matches ever. And like oh, Jeff Hardy, man. he's like all fucked up after the match, and he's he got, like, gets up. He's like, oh, "Is that the best you got, <laughs> Undertaker?" Then, yeah, ta and then Taker comes back and beats him up again. And then Boom. He gets up. Oh, he's again. about to. Yeah, and, doesn't he yeah. do it once and then comes back again? And then I don't know. But I think he, he like puts a fist up and then yeah. holds his face and, and shakes then, his hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Puts him over, man. That's yeah, a, that's a classic like wrestling. Yeah, he. I feel like I don't know. You're hundred percent right, dude. Yeah. Geek out, dude. I don't give a fuck. No, oh, bro. I mean, I feel like Jeff Hardy was underutilized like a motherfucker, bro. And like there was, he had a heel run where he was a bad guy on TNA mm -hmm. and he comes out with his own rolled tobacco cigarette because that's where his dad worked was that tobacco cool. farm. And he had like a button up with a tie on, but Damn. it was like loose and it yeah. was purple he was like up. marlon brando bro he came out like he would come out there and like not give a shit about the crowd like it was like <laughs> it was one, me, he, that, i think that's what he was leading up to the match against sting yeah and it, it or i could be completely wrong uh but i think the fact way, that it, heel, heel jeff hardy would have been so fucking tight yeah like a bad guy that jumps off ladders <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he just had he, had he had colorful hair like all the girls I was into, you know. He, he did like, dress very like Blink 182, like very oh, emo yes, man. Dude. Like you he listened to AFI. Emotional. Yeah, Team Extreme man. Two two dudes dressed like that and then like, a hot chick with them. 
and she did backflips off the top rope, which that's the early two thousands right there. That's getting into two thousand ten territory right there. Two thousand two type shit. Yeah. Really am. Yeah. yeah. All right. Turn of the century. Your turn. Um, most offensive storyline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what offended me? Yeah, something that offended you was uh the dude in the stormtrooper helmet. Just that. Just no. the guy dropping coming through. The- <laughs> was yeah. it not canonical? What was that guy's name? Breaking- Wasn't accurate. <sighs> what was it? He break. He falls over and his helmet falls off. Yeah, yeah. he they <laughs> he trips mm-hmm. <laughs> on like a a beam or something, and he falls through. That's like a his helmet that's, falls that's off. Close. Thunder shock or something. I'm gonna thunder. Find it. Yeah, it thunder shock. To like a no, cryptid a on shock. wrestling as there could be. Like that's a Whoa. wrestling cryptid, right? There. I looked up stormtrooper wrestler and uh, a guy, a wrestler with a Nazi flag came up. Ooh, see, that's offensive. That is I a, didn't like that. That's the N word. Yeah. No, it's not. Jesus. Nazi is the <laughs> inward. Oh, my God. What the shit? That's the ultimate heel right there. Yeah, like, that's it's not uh, like I, heel I Hitler. Okay. <laughs> 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 heel Hitler. <laughs> yeah, what's his finisher? The mine. The mine comp. <laughs> Mine, mine, curb stomp. <laughs> oh, mine, curb stomp. Mine, curb stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> I'm trying to find you it. will lose if you go against me. <laughs> <laughs> the nine will driver. He goes up there. <laughs> Starts his promo every time with the weird, the weird wave that. You ever see those videos of Hitler doing that shit? It's so weird. Jackson, you ever saw him shooting? Like he had a wave. Hello. Yeah, like yeah, it was like very flamboyant. Like it was like, like people that own Jeeps. Yeah, <laughs> actually, Dave, Dave owns a Jeep. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not a nineteen forty two Jeep. <laughs> it's a, the face he made. It was just yeah, but it runs on gas, right? <laughs> okay. <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shock Random master. tallow. Shockmaster. Shock yeah. That was his name. Shockmaster. That wasn't far off. The Shockmaster. I mean, he probably should have just kept with the. So his Stormtrooper helmet. So yeah, yeah, he had his Stormtrooper helmet. So you're talking like Star Wars Stormtrooper yeah, helmet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I never saw that. It's bedazzled. Oh, it's like a 15 <laughs> second clip. I'll show it to you at some point, man. It's pretty good. But you, they yeah. have like yeah. Ric Flair and a few dudes are like arguing in what yeah. feels like a reality TV well, set. They're setting up for like uh, war games or something like that. Yeah, that the idea. Star like, Wars games. Where yeah. like some Survivor Series shit. Yeah, it's sure. like where they put them in two rings. They have two rings and they put a cage over it. Ah, oh, man. Wait, uh, you're, you're, they had war games back then? Yeah, that's where it came from was WCW. No way. Yeah, Dusty Rhodes invented that shit. No. Yeah, dude. No way. Man. Yeah, dude. Come on. He invented it. He invented it, brother. Dusty <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the Rhodes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had a, uh, so at summer camp, Right, it was always you had to have a an uh, uh, like a description and then a adjective or what adjective and then a noun to make your camp name. I was Tiny Leaf. Um, that's where Tiny Leaf Big Stem comes from. That makes sense. There was a guy that had Dusty up. Rhodes. Yeah, and that's you knew tiny. right from the he was a fucking diehard. Mm-hmm. As a country boy. Yeah. On them dusty roads. <laughs> <laughs> that about hard times, brother. Yeah. <laughs> My father was a plumber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't very limber, but he was very lumber. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to say, for mine, I'm going to say uh, when uh, after Eddie Guerrero died, oh. when uh, they were pushing Rey Mysterio, and the way that they made Randy Orton a bad guy was just every week to come out and say that Eddie Guerrero was in hell. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It yeah. sounds like something Randy would say. He, Randy, dude. he had some wild eyebrows. Uh, Randy Orton? Oh, Randy Orton? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He'd make that angry face. <laughs> he was on quite a few offensive storylines for sure. He's got a few. Yeah. He used to punt Randy people Orton. in the head. Yeah. Yeah. The Undertaker funeral. I'm playing mind games. I beat you mentally. Then Undertaker like sits up in the fucking casket and choke slams him. That didn't happen, man. And Randy, uh, dude, dude, <laughs> you keep saying that, and I know it. I watched this shit literally last night. You're making when, that. When's the man. first time you saw someone get hit with one of Undertaker's lightning bolts? Um, oh, man, <laughs> did that ever take you out of it? <laughs> I can't think of a specific 
moment. Like, do you remember that though? Yeah, I do remember. He'd them, like, like put his hand up, and they'd fucking uh-huh. the lightning bolt would come I'm out. Trying to think of a person you did that to. Pretty sure you did it to Randy Orton. Oh yeah, they yeah. were like the huge. When he lit the casket on fire, and fucking he walks out of the casket. Yeah. It's the Damn. hardest entrance ever, man. Yeah. And Randy yeah. Orton's just like, oh, oh, and Undertaker bell rings, and he just smacks the door off of a flaming. Casket. Fucking Orton, here's a who? It's Undertaker. <laughs> That's who. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I really like The Undertaker. I, I really like The Undertaker, dude. man. And, like, Paul Bearer is the funniest shit. Yeah. He goes to open a casket, Ooh. and Paul Bearer is in it with the urn, shaking the urn. Lights go out. Lights go back on, and he's standing there ready to kick Randy I, Orton's I, I ass. I for that now, dude, honestly. I think that dude. kind of, like, pe- like, performance and that kind of writing and that stuff, that takes so much to build. And, like, I think that that's, like, uh, success, you know, and like you do create those moments no matter what you're doing. Like even like uh on a TV show when people can be like I mean it's like the red wedding. Everyone knows what you're talking Ooh. about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's those big moments that like every fucking it's just in the ether. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, even if it's like into a meme and wrestling's been put into memes so much like yes. Vince McMahon having his face shoved into the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Here we go. Give us your second pick, dude. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, can you do three? Yeah. All right. I could. Like the more we talk about it, the, the more, more your I mind starts thinking. Think, yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, Brock Lesnar fighting a guy, and then he pulls off his fake leg <laughs> and then beats the shit out of him, and he only has one leg, and it's like, it's like multiple weeks of. I mean, at Just one point, the shit out of that guy. Yeah, at one point he throws the guy down a bunch of stairs. Like, yeah. Oh my god! On his wheelchair. Yeah. Like, holy shit! I forgot about this dude. It yeah. wasn't Vicky, right? And like literally, that, that's all they used the guy for. Like they didn't. The have whole like point was to get art. Hulk Hogan back. <laughs> I think that was the payoff. Was Hulk Hogan came back? Yeah, that makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that guy's name? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, dude, I remember too. That was one of the times where you're, when you're like a kid. And like your parents think it's fine that you're watching wrestling, uh-huh. but the, like Brock Lesnar's beating up this paraplegic. It's like, <laughs> he's like f fiving him in the <laughs> cold and shit, fucking just picking him back up after he's already knocked out. Yeah, <laughs> All right, let me do it. completely disarmed. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Holy shit! Yeah, I just remember that one. Damn, yeah, that's a good one, dude. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I got pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, pretty strong yeah. offensive ones. Yeah, man. Like, wow, wow. I, I I like the McMahon's the McMahon's and the fucking the one where he does a tag team match the McMahon's against Shawn Michaels and God yeah where he's like God get your ass down here yeah. and it's just a spotlight shining with angelic music and everyone's just like so he starts confused. selling for him and shit yeah. he starts, start, starts selling for the light yeah no, it's so he's like God that's not how we do it here that's not <laughs> Get jiggy with it, God. And then they start like playing funky organ music, and the guy running the stoplight starts like shaking it back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just walking around the ring, and the, the announcers are like, Oh, God, here he comes. Oh, my God, did you feel that? Did you feel that? That was God. Did you? <laughs> just like, I think, religiously speaking, I'm not a religious man, but the wrestling fanatics are. Wrestling fans. Thank you for pointing at me. When you yeah. that. <laughs> well, they're religious. <laughs> Even Shawn Michaels though, is religious, so you think he'd be like, maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't do this. <laughs> it's a little, I don't know. Yeah. It's not as offensive as the crippling guy, but I mean, I just it's one of the instances I can think of that I would pick. It'd be the, I get that, man. Yeah, yeah. We're covering that they all just pretended to be feeling the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> like that's there's a whole crew pulling that off like there's a guy up there with the light like this is so fucking stupid you mean i gotta i gotta was fucking like, <laughs> like with the lightning bolt it was vince, kind of thing vince playing god yeah yeah true his ego was He's so big with at a that lot point. of stuff dude yeah <laughs> you you gotta know when you're man when you're man yeah. yeah, does God you know, live you in heaven? Use yourself for a God. <laughs> you gotta be because he's man. afraid of what he's yeah. created. You gotta be to be <laughs> the man, Mick man, with a tear in my eye. What's yours? <laughs> Second pick. Uh, I'm gonna go Are you with cheating. You're over here cheating. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. yeah. <laughs> yeah cheating. Can, I cheat? Can I go pee? I gotta cheat. Go I gotta pee, pee a little chit. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Hornswoggle is McMahon's child. Oh okay. 
Oh, man yeah. Hornswoggle? Yeah, that's when they called him the horny little bastard, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I know they, bastards, they and that's not... It. Okay. Yeah, I'm close friends with the rat bastard. Uh, <laughs> we're close friends with a couple of bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, maybe that was too far. I uh, The twins I grew up with were bastards. Hornswoggle, oh, though, is... Sense. Twins, of course. Yeah. Any dad would leave. Oh, oh, you're fine. So One of the cutest little characters in the whole. He was actually a very good wrestler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know that? Do you know who that McMahon's son was originally supposed to be? Uh, yeah. Who? Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, dude. But then he dropped Orton on his head. Yeah, and Orton and complained. Yeah, Orton was like, "Get this guy out of the fucking company." And, yeah, and then because Or- yeah, there was this guy that, like you could tell too when you watched him. They're like because when you're a kid, when you watch it so much, you can tell when they're like. They've clearly chosen someone to be one of the uh-huh. next big guys. And he would fucking, I don't know if you remember this, but he would, the fucking lights would go out and there'd be a spotlight right in the middle of the ring and he'd fucking bring down his own like old school microphone. I remember seeing that. And Vince fucking, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. And then he said, Kennedy. And like, you ever see him in TNA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. It's, it's not as cool. Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was supposed to be like, the next one of the next big guys and then he pissed off the wrong people dude wow that makes sense that's one of those where it's like well that seems like uh, very catty like i've well, I have if you heard drop one about, of the top guys one of their main guys on their head and they are catty it's like, kind of like all right very like but like if you just don't vibe well oh, they'll yeah. get you kicked out have you seen the uh there's like that new wrestling movie with the family the like, von eric's one yeah the von eric's it, yeah. it goes in on how much they have to be like yes yes sir type shit to the motherfuckers above them yeah it's like almost military militant oh, yeah. type shit and like I mean, yeah. that's at least how their family operated, but it seemed like that's how like the whole business kind of worked. And they're risking limb, like oh, taking yeah. out, and they could get parts away of their bodies. When you listen to people who like have covered wrestling for a long time, or like have worked in the wrestling business for a long time, they'll always be like, "Yeah, we could do what we wanted because no one takes wrestling seriously." You can. That's why they get away with it because no one. Of course, Vince McMahon was racist and <laughs> sexual assaults people. It's wrestling, you know what I mean. And now, yeah, yeah. now it's kind of starting to turn. But that's his character. Well, he did it on TV, dude, and also off stage. Yeah. He wrestled God. He yeah. wrestled God. Yeah, you can't do that. You got to know when you're man. You got to yeah. know when you're man. McMahon. McMahon. Yeah. Wow. Did you get my? You got to beat the man to be the man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So for my second one, I'm going to say. Do you remember Katie Vick? I don't recognize Katie Vick. So in Kane, remember when Kane had the mask that his you could see his mouth uh-huh. right before he took it off, yeah. and he was fighting with he, Triple H for the world championship, and uh, Triple H did this whole thing where he, there was supposedly this woman yeah. from Kane's past mm-hmm. named Katie Vick. Yeah, and he was like, I have, I have, I have, I have a video that's gonna shock you, and then it was it was supposed to be a video of Kane fucking a dead body in a in a uh, casket. Oh my yeah. God. But it was really just Triple H and a cane mask, <laughs> and he yeah. had like a dead doll, like a doll, and uh, yeah, I yeah. was I was like ten. That's so. a classic one. Yeah, that's, that's like that's Katie Vick. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, your first example of necrophilia, pro wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah it seriously. Well, it, it teaches that life guy's lessons. In, that guy's in charge now. He's in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, like it's so crazy that like he still is like so much. Like better than McMahon. Like it's crazy. It's scary. Like, yeah, well, not scary, but it's like just shows how wild wrestling is. Yeah, and the fact that there was a banging a dead corpse storyline and it wasn't the Undertaker involved is that brother. Well, it, yeah, true. Yeah. Can I even remember Undertaker's bought, brother? We bought. It was one of the only pay per views I ever bought because I was like, Kane, so is the Undertaker able? Kane is. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. One hundred percent. Yeah. Kane and Abel was. Yeah, I just. Re- oh man. Except Undertaker is the one that killed. Yeah, the, it was yeah, yeah. Kane, they the Undertaker. God into this. <laughs> yeah, he's the Prince I, of Darkness. Well, it's the best book ever written, man. <laughs> true. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> People jerk off to it. <sighs> Who knew Dave was into God? Yeah, and this really has like there been beer. any? Uh, have okay, so there's obviously been rape. Yeah, sh- there, I, I think if if it doesn't get brought up, I'm, I'm picking it. Is, <laughs> uh, I see. Okay, but has there been retards? 
Yeah, for sure. Really? And rape. I'll actually do. I mean, look at Hornswallow. I'm about to right. win the night, dude. <laughs> 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 Hornswallow. Hornswallow. Hornswallow, yeah. No, there has. Dude, you remember? Uh, maybe I shouldn't say it, but. Yeah. If, you, if I, you guys Horse can take. Swoggle got in with you a lady. Could, you could take this draft pick, man. This one could be a little. Yeah. A little off, man. Well, I already. I just picked. I just picked Katie Vick. Yeah, but you traded last year for a third round pick. I don't know. <laughs> You know, like all right. Well, you remember? Do you remember Eugene? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my no, grandpa's no, name. Eugene was legitimately. Uh-huh. He was legitimately the way they portrayed <laughs> him was legitimately like I don't know if it was supposed to be Downs, but it was for sure like heavy autism. Okay. And the but yeah. the the bell would ring and he would fuck you up. <laughs> uh-huh. and, and remember when he fought Triple, he fought Triple H at SummerSlam at one point, right? And like he was like Eric Bischoff's nephew and. And it was really he just. Come out like this and fucking he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> right. He wore whitey tidies as like his. Yeah, whitey did tidies he, and a fucking Letterman jacket. Did he too. have yeah. that? Is uh, so funny. Did he have like a handler? Did he have somebody? I think that it was like, Eric Bischoff, wasn't it? Yeah, he definitely. Because he like was a Eric guy Bischoff. That would like grab him afterwards. Because the thing that was, was, was that I give, dude, give some a sucker. I totally something. just had like memories come back in my head. The storyline was is that they were trying to embarrass Eric Bischoff. By giving his retarded nephew a job, <laughs> and it was Eugene, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then he got a world championship match, <laughs> <laughs> and almost won, dude. <laughs> and that's the story of radio. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude you, got, you got another one or what? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember his name. <laughs> he was an ECW guy. Uh, uh, Sam, it was, are you talking about the crucifixion? No. Oh man. Oh, I got. I might have to look it up. I'm. Are you talking about New Jack? New Jack. Yeah. The guy that almost killed the. Yeah, I guess just New Jack. Like a lot of his storylines were insane. There's a point where he goes like, uh, OJ. <laughs> this is my message to OJ. Yeah. Good work, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep the good work up. Yeah. <laughs> and his entire persona was like his actual true feelings of like he just hates motherfuckers and wants wants to kill them in the ring. When he would <laughs> when he would come out to be people, they would just play his music the whole time. For ten minutes he'd come out, beat the fuck out of people. And then leave and then turn his music off. That, yeah. was, his, yeah. that was his whole thing. Like dude. He, and it was like some deathmatch type shit. Like yeah. He was actually fucking these guys up. But the classic <laughs> moment where he's they're standing on like a motherfucking, they're like, like a steeple of tables on top. And he is supposed to throw the guy on this giant stack of tables, but instead purposely misses the tables and just throws him onto the ring. And this is a guy that should not have been even wrestling because they would like, they were doing this thing where they're like, Oh, he yeah. gave like indie wrestlers out of the crowd a chance. Uh huh. And this guy just got there. I think he stabbed, didn't he stab another guy in the face or is it the same guy? Oh my God. It's, yeah. Uh, New was Jack he Puerto man. Rican? No. Was, no. <laughs> I'm not going to say what he Whoa. was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, pretty crazy, man. He said yeah. some wild shit. Like just New old, Jack in general, honestly. That's, yeah. yeah. Like him as a character, like all the storylines he was involved in. Like, the gangsters, dude. Bruh, like yeah. he, the way he, <laughs> like he, per, he truly felt <laughs> like he was expressing himself on the truest. Like it was one of those weird moments where his character was just himself yeah. in a lot of ways. He just wanted to fuck somebody up, dude. Now, yeah. I mean, that that's, almost, be, that's rest. He almost legitimately kills somebody, though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I think when it, 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 you could tell when somebody's passionate about it, that yeah. they're like living the thing they should be doing. His mm-hmm. promos were wild, bro. He would say, he'd say, like, if. If I was doing this 20 years ago, they'd have me lynched in a tree. <laughs> like, he's like, for well, some people's way of beating people oh, up. David Lynch, happy birthday. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Twin thanks. Peaks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was his birthday today. You know, <laughs> you know the director? I just get like all pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the yeah. fuck are you talking about? I wasn't done Is that the Dune that. guy? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you interrupt wrestling yeah. for David fucking Lynch? The most famous Lynch. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my, my list. So Dude, cool. you got a good list. You got a third one? Me? Yeah. I uh, I got one. You guys know Chris Benoit, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> I do think uh, I was Dylan... going to say the most controversial storyline <laughs> yeah. yeah. is when he is a family annihilator and kills yeah. his family. Yeah. yeah. Right. Chris well, Benoit. His, uh, they had the night of, right? Was yes. the night of his like big Hall of Fame inductee or whatever. The... No, they didn't know. Well, they didn't know. And so they did a they did like a tribute show to him. Yeah, yeah. Before, because, yeah, and yeah. It happened it's like so as fun. the news was coming out as the show was happening. Yeah, right. Pretty much because I think you said Damn. that like the person towards the end is kind of like no. It's like the next. It's SmackDown the next. Like what was it on Thursday then? Where yeah. like they started with Vince McMahon. He's like, we made a mistake. We didn't have all from Chris Benoit's name will never be mentioned on this show again. Yeah, yeah. and then ever since then it's like, uh huh. He Nothing. fucking yeah. blacklisted, man. Like, yeah. he seriously, well, strangled. Whacklisted. Whacklisted, yeah. yeah. Ben whacklisted. I've Whack. heard, like, voicemails of him calling one Travel of his, Guerrero. And yeah. yeah. And it's it's sad and yeah. terrifying. But sure, I think it's, it's eerie. It, it sends chills down the spine because you're like, oh, he's going to do something. He's going to. And yeah. he did. That's the storyline. I'm picking that one. It's pretty uh, it dark. Real life. But it's real life. <laughs> <laughs> like even mine, where a guy's like trying to kill a guy, it's like, come on, dog. I mean, yeah, it's still wrestling. There used to be a there used to be a <laughs> conspiracy theory that this old other wrestler, Kevin Sullivan, actually did it because he was like his character was a big like Satan worshiper, and because uh, Nancy Benoit, his Chris Benoit's wife, was married to him, Kevin Sullivan first. Whoa! Yeah. See, the there's hell? controversy there. Yeah, <laughs> there's always a heel. Yeah. Right now in hell, there's a... Yeah, and he's in jail. <laughs> or, well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he wrestling? That guy. Oh, Kevin Sullivan? Yeah. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. That's he he the, made it out. That's the, <laughs> that's the biggest twist I heard all night. Yeah. <laughs> you got one more? Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, uh, Muhammad uh, Hassan. Oh right. yeah, he used piano wire to choke out the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched a video about that, dude. He was gonna be like the they were gonna make him the world champion, and then they fucked up because they did exactly what I'm Yeah, they did oh. like they had the, no, no. <laughs> no. They came up with the idea after nine eleven. That was the Iron Sheik's plan. Yeah. That was <laughs> but what they did is they had they had like five guys dressed up as terrorists attack the Undertaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Kind of, oh man! <laughs> well, I don't remember it, but I know of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Sheik also was a pretty. I mean, oh, there's some brutal. Like I loved like the characters of that era, like yeah. Sergeant Slaughter, man, the motherfucking. What's oh, the guy that was? Yes, that's like yes. A big prospect of one that could have been used is when Iron when Sergeant Slaughter was when he turned on America. Well, <laughs> or just in general. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of a different guy. It's the guy that Undertaker hangs in a. Oh, Big Boss Man. Yeah, he hangs Big Boss Man, and it's just like an image of this guy who looks like he's actually hanging from his neck. Uh, and they literally, that's how they cut. Like, well, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> next <laughs> week like, on wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like, man. we're going to leave him up there? Like, ding, ding. And he's like red as hell. Like, he's really playing the role. It looks like he's like <laughs> legit hanging from a noose. And yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Undertaker. Okay, well, remember when they ran strong. over uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, with the, yeah. yeah. Was that the truck or was that what they do it with with the motorcycle? Or? I think it was a truck. It was the truck. It was I Stone Cold's it. truck. I did it for the Rock. I did it for the Rock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like uh, the one. The best vehicle was the uh, dude with the long horns on the front of his car. JBL. JBL. Yeah. Oh, that dude. Yeah, That's Jesus it. Christ. This isn't my pick, but uh, big money. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my pick, but remember, it? there was a there was a moment when uh, JBL was feuding with Eddie Guerrero, where one of the things that they did to make him more of a bad guy was they filmed him going to the border and kicking Mexicans back over the yeah. border. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, was, he got in trouble for uh, goose stepping one time in Germany. No, during a match, dude, oh, he started like, goose stepping. Yeah, I think there's like film of that, isn't it? Yeah, there is, and you're like, that's illegal in Germany. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's full on like jail time type. Is that the type yeah. of dance you do at the Goose concerts? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one third of what you do at the Duck Duck Goose concert. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> yeah, that was JBL was definitely up there. Yeah, that's he cool. like multiple rivalries with like uh, he was he was a Texas wrestler. Yeah. And so before he went to WWE, that's what he was like. He that's what shot him up in the like 
in the rankings and stuff and got him into WWE was being the bad guy going against a Mexican and guy. And he was stereotypically really? like yeah. super I didn't know, rich. I, never, I didn't know that. Like right? He, he Big was money. super loaded. Well, this was before he was even that probably. Yeah, and the super loaded was like, it was, it was like a weird flip of... It was like a last chance kind of thing. Yeah, it yeah. was like, well, it was their way of flipping him into like a main card heel. Well, because before that, he was just the APA guy, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, 100%. Yeah. He reminded me. Do you remember? I'm an NBA guy. No. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you guys remember uh, <laughs> the Doug Dimidome, owner of the Dugsdale Dimidome? Yeah. Heck yeah. Brother. That's what no. JBL reminded me of. I don't yeah, remember that I mean, at all. they had the same hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And car. Doug Dimidome. Oh, man. Dimsdale Dimidome. Dim he was apparently like a real asshole behind the scenes, too. Yeah, I've heard that. Like he hazed wrestlers a lot. Yeah. JBL? Yeah. Yeah. Like him. I forgot who. I don't, what was his real name? I think it's Chad Bradshaw because he goes on like he used to go on like Fox News as that. Yeah, as like John, as like an economic consultant. Sounds like a uh, news like an NFL broadcaster. Yeah, for sure. Bradshaw, that's yeah, Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw. John Layfield actually. John Bradshaw Layfield. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. So what's your uh, final yeah. draft? My final pick is the Kane and Lita. You guys remember Kane and Lita? Uh huh. So Kate, Lita had this whole thing where she was with Matt Hardy, and then she she had an affair with Edge. And yeah. so they did the whole thing where Edge and Matt Hardy. So feuded. in that situation, does she actually sleep with Edge? No, or that's why they. She did sleep with. It's Edge. for the bit. Yeah, was, she's they, committing she to the bit. Edge. So so what happened was. <laughs> yeah. I'll break down the whole wait, story. Wait, wait, I just watched the YouTube. One of my favorite yeah, so it's Lolita a great does, story. She no, doesn't know a thing or two about commitment. Well. I, mean, I could teach her a thing or two about making, you know, because I got a gig. Oh, yeah, there Mr. You go. Mary <laughs> Pants <laughs> over there. Yeah. So Matt Hardy gets injured, and he asks his good buddy Edge. Hey, I'm off the road. Can you take care of my, you know, watch out for my like girl? Like in Pulp Fiction with... Yeah, just like in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, it's wrestling. <laughs> Evan, if you don't take this seriously... <laughs> We're going to have to kick you out of the ring. <laughs> kick me out of the ring? One more pun. One more. <laughs> dude, this is every episode, dude. Uh, <laughs> so... <clears throat> Obviously, Edge takes care of her by sleeping with her. Undertaker. Right. So then, do they pair Edge and Lita before it comes out? Uh, it came out. Matt Hardy, like they try to sweep it under the rug, so they fire Matt Hardy, and then I think someone told Matt Hardy. Someone snitched, probably. Matt Hardy went through her, like, uh, was he yeah, he went through her email. Uh huh. Yeah, saw, that shows what era it is sharing, for sure. Like loving <laughs> love, love letters. Messages that they're that they're fucking. Basically. So then at Matt Hardy starts posts on his personal web boards. The real emails. Yeah, yeah he's talking. He's talking about it. And so the way WWE responds is by firing Matt Hardy, <laughs> the guy yeah. who got cheated on. But, and yeah, but because then like a he's few months stirring up. Yeah, controversy. Sure, for a guy that they're clearly again trying to make one of their top guys. And so then what they do is after everyone starts like there's like this bring Matt Hardy back thing and everyone has uh -huh. signs. So they bring him back specifically to feud <laughs> with Edge and Lita under the story of she cheated on me. Yeah. And they beat the fuck out of each other. Like he seriously edge is like he's real just punches. Done a match. He's yeah. all he's all bragging. Lita's next to him. And suddenly he gets attacked by like a random audience member. And then it turns out to be Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy with like rugged ass hair. Big pop, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he gets the microphone and he's like, Edge, hey, you douchebag. Yeah, he, I think he called Lita a whore. Yeah, yeah, it, was, Lita, it was good. It's good stuff, dude. I'm going to make your life yeah. miserable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so naturally, they follow that storyline up with Kane raping Lita. Yeah, so, yeah, I, saw, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. That's but how, that's how wrestling In works. the rape category, I'm pouring out. The rules. <laughs> In wrestling, she gets pregnant and clearly has to keep it. So she keeps it, and then clearly because because God's now, a wrestler, right? She's clearly now pregnant with Kane's baby, a little candy cane. They have to get married, so they get married, and uh, a shotgun wedding style. Shotgun no, in the middle of the ring, they get married. Does oh, does Ed yeah. does Matt was, Hardy interrupt that one too? Uh, or is they it Edge? Tease it. Edge is uh, they're doing the wedding, and then Matt Hardy's music and his promo video come out and then they and laugh then, yeah and then they turn it off and edge laugh and oh you're talking about edge and lita i'm talking about kane and lita well then right after yeah yeah right after that uh kane comes from under the ground oh yeah yeah and then, then commits the act 
Yeah. Where where <laughs> underneath the commits the act. <laughs> yeah. He, Whoa. Uh, solidifies the marriage. <laughs> but it gets better. He was a gay so, consummation. So Lita Lita. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, she taps. She taps and gets pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> he one, two, three yeah. taps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kane, no, Lita's other finisher was getting an abortion. So but she didn't get an abortion. <laughs> I, I, I just because. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're right. You're right. That was good. I'm sorry. I no, I stepped okay, a little bit. It, it was bad. It was kind of an abortion because then along comes this new guy named Snitsky. Snitsky, yeah. And and he takes the baby. And he punts it into the crowd. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, it shows then, where the story was at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Some guy involved. named Snitsky. And then for the rest of Snitsky's WWE career, he just says, it wasn't my fault. And then that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's my number one pick. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. <laughs> that is great. He would take Kicking like, a baby. Yeah. yeah, I think you took it, man. You he got punted it, it dude. You Fucking went, you hell. went up to my list, man. You really Your did. list was good, dude. We also had. I mean, I had coming in Kate, Katie Vick, dude. You know how uh, like they say the thing jumped the shark. Yes, they, yeah. This should be they punted the baby. They punted yeah. the baby. Like, <laughs> it really lost. It went off the rails. There. Man, they I really used to like baby. watching. Uh, you know, like what was the show they always talk about? Uh, Justified. Oh yeah, it was a really good show. Yellowstone or something. It was great until about the fourth season. They really yeah. kicked the baby in that one. Punted, yeah. punted the baby. Yeah, that was a long walk. I man. screwed up the. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little high. <laughs> I really did screw up that setup. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 Not yeah, even yeah. worth the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> you were all there. You were all there. It's wrestling. <laughs> oh man, oh. I think I just connected the dots on the exact like moment that I. Was watching wrestling like and the, realized it was a couple years before. Yeah. Like, well, the first the thing that got me into wrestling was Jeff Hardy was on the top of a steel cage. I was flipping through these channels. Whoa! And all of a sudden, I see this guy with long, like, colorful hair standing at the top of a cage. Samoan guy standing in the middle of the ring, hands wave like he has face paint. Oh, Umaga. what was his name? Umaga. Umaga. I remember Damn, him. That's your had, first memory of wrestling. Holy yeah, shit! How old are you? Obsessed over it, and then watched like so much YouTube of it. But how, old are, how, how old are you? I'm 27. So I was like like third grade. Oh, I remember. I bet you damn, I still dude, have it crazy. somewhere. The My list first... of a hundred wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. And it was like uh, a magazine that had them all listed, and it would do their finishes and like uh, their most important matches and wow. everything. And that's when I researched. Oh, that's man. when I, I felt like I actually got like into. That. It. That sounds like a cool. Dude, I'm only book. I'm only five book. years older than you. Amazon, that shit. I'm only five years older than you. But my first memory of wrestling is fucking. Sting and Ric Flair. Dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I, mean, I had a yeah. wrestling video game when I was like a kid. Yeah. And so oh, I knew, yeah. I knew the characters of like Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, SmackDown Jake versus Raw. I was yeah. introduced I, I to wrestling through video games. Yes. WWE 2K. A good game, man. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Uh, so summer games. camp is like huge for me. The guy that was the um, organizer, he uh, is so into wrestling that he has um, a DDP. Like tattoo on his uh, DDT. chest and like met the guy and DDP Diamond Diamond, Diamond Dallas, Dallas Page. Page. Like he does Dallas all the yoga Page. stuff and um, he's like he was so into wrestling. So he was the the first guy that even introduced me into podcasting. Like oh, the yeah. day that he talked about um, Tom Segura having a podcast, he also told me about um, a wrestling podcast. Wrestling wrestlers definitely were like early in probably or before in podcasts before comedians, honestly. I, I could see it. Yeah, yeah, like Stone Cold and Jim Ross. The and promos and shit talking. And well, people, you know, actual, the rocket ship no, with but the you're fuel. talking about literal actual pro- podcast. Into microphone. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Together, man. Come on. Well, I'm agreeing. Right, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus No, Christ. they were OG. Lots of long walks, dude. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you started with the bongos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have, you should have brought I them. do a lot in post. <laughs> I do a lot. <laughs> All right. Fun, let's break down these lists. <laughs> so, uh, Spaghetti Jake. You had Ray and Eddie for Dominic's custody. You had Brock beats up paraplegic. Yeah. And then you had just New Jack in general. Yeah. That's pretty. That's Brock. Pretty solid. Brock Lesnar. Uh, Brock. Brock. I know him first name. We're a first name basis. Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah. Barack Obama. Yeah. Yeah. That actually was a like they had a match between. He's, Barack he's got a Obama necktie tattoo. Once. Did they really? And Instead of a, a machete, that was dressed up and like looked like they made him look like Brock. <laughs> And it was a girl that they made look like Hillary, and it was like literally a thirty-minute match. That's that's. Do you remember when? Uh, that's kind of hot. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Back to Pornhub again. Do you, <laughs> do you remember when uh, they 
they were supposed to have Raw on the same night that the Nuggets were playing in a playoff game. 100%. And so they went to the Denver Coliseum and they booked a like a eight man tag where the good guys wore uh-huh. Lakers jerseys and I the was bad guys be wore <laughs> Nuggets jerseys. At that show. And then and they, the Nuggets were in the playoffs. Uh huh. And you were pissed, huh? Yeah, 100%. Why didn't you go to the one at the Coliseum? I was so pissed. They did it at the Coliseum. No, they, they started, they had it scheduled to be in Denver and yeah. then like. Denver canceled because the Nuggets were going to the playoffs. Shout out Melo and Adam. Oh, and then when they came yeah. back, they went to the Coliseum instead. Yeah, they, when they yeah. came back, they are in L.A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They They went to L.A., and so that's why all the good guys were in L.A. gear and all the Nuggets guys, like Big Show and fucking <laughs> Randy Orton. Like, fat Big Mr. Show. Mr. Kennedy. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, like, sad. It was Big Show when it was like, come on, dog. After Floyd Mayweather, come on, man. Yeah. Just lay down, man. And now he's still wrestling, and he, like, He's got them butter bean knees. I don't know if you've seen Oh, the bean no, the knees. gross. He, he, he I've got vanilla bean right here. Walk a fly. This is a weird tangent. Butter bean, they had him on Family Feud. Jackass did yeah. Family Feud. Yeah. yeah. They had butter bean on the Jackass. Because thing. he's in the first movie. Yeah, he punched yeah, the shit out of him. He's not a, like, come on. He's part of the family. Dude. He's part of the Jackass family. Butter I, bean. Okay, dude. He probably needed a paycheck. So weird. And he was like, he was having, yeah. Not all the way there mentally, not all the way there physically. Well, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> old boxer. Yeah. He, <laughs> it, he's butter bean along. For, Never mind. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> he died, like, I'm sure he's dead. Right? I don't think so. No, Brother Bean's still alive. That episode yeah. was filmed like five, four years ago. Well, like it was, ago. yeah, it was recent. I distinctly remember watching that. Yeah. So Dave, Dave has, Dave has Mark Henry being set up with a trans man. Yeah, that is sick. That was like Evan. In a good that, way. that was Evan. Not Jesus. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Play dude. it cool, man. Play it cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, sick as in like. Yeah. We know you're sick married. As in like straight fucking, married. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, McMahon versus God, which was that's a classic. It's just it's just so stupid. <laughs> yeah. And then this one's not a storyline. No, dude, I can change the last one if you want. Should we let him? What do you guys think? think? Was, I mean, All right. I think the Chris Benoit is a little dark. I'll apologize. Obnoxious. It's, it's obnoxious. also not a storyline, though. It's not. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you have? I was thinking of the classic storyline. It's a very uh, famous match. It's Stone Cold versus the uh, Booker T. When he beats the shit out of Booker T in the supermarket. Okay. That's and he's nice. like singing. Well, I like food. What about, with, what about when Triple H told Booker T that. <laughs> doesn't his dick fall out in the like middle of the match? People like you don't make it here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't want to actually. <laughs> like anything gonna, Booker that, T. That one was when I was coming in here prepared to do. That is a good one. Because <laughs> yeah. like, there's points where he's like, you're going to do drugs and be a gangster. And like, just like as racist as you can be. Yeah. Now, part- are, you, are you able to name. A black wrestler that wasn't a part of a gang. <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 am I? Do I have to entertain this bullshit? <laughs> Wait, wasn't this? Uh, but I thought this was the whole thing. <laughs> With Brad, yeah, Brandon, Brandon Patrick thinks that all wrestlers, black wrestlers, are junkyard dog. Man, uh, he was his own dog. How? How? Uh, <laughs> but the point that what made the Triple H one so offensive was that Triple H ended up winning the whole thing, and like so. Yeah. Booker T never got like never got to like he never got his comeuppance exactly like he it, usually in wrestling they try to at least have some sort of like moral base to if it. if I can be racist revenge. to you you can be the world champion but not yeah, this time exactly it yeah. was like one of those few ones where I was like, he never had the moment yeah. not with Triple H no yeah damn yeah honestly Booker T was like one of the most like screwed a Rooney motherfuckers yeah they wrestling. fucked him up like Underrated. the whole thing about too like him. He's being chased by Stone Cold, and he leaves the match because he screwed Stone Cold out of a championship or something. Right, right, right. And, s- sorry. Yeah, and then they, Booker T stops at a supermarket for a latte in the middle of it and calls Vince, Yeah, and then they, like, broadcast the whole thing, and, like, Stone, he attacks a bald guy in the supermarket. It turns out it's just a random civilian, and the only Fuck. one in that supermarket, Stone Cold comes up and snaps a beer open and then beats the shit. He's, like, yeah. putting flour on him, pouring, here's a little bit of gray poop on this it's so funny <laughs> it's, it is funny and booker t's dick falls out right like doesn't he rip his pants yeah, or something his dick pops out yeah oh, wow. 
in the uh, middle of getting thrashed around the supermarket. But that wasn't like planned or anything. That was like a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's big. It's so not a storyline. Easy to pop <laughs> out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes him not championship material. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. Um, it, it, yeah, it's, you know, in that same storyline, like Stone Cold kidnaps him and puts him in like a freezer. And, like, yes. He has him yeah. all tied up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what? What? Every, he's in his every face. Every time he talks, he just goes, what? Yeah. Pouring beer over him, man. Like, just. Yeah. Stone Cold. Stone Cold was a fucking... Do you fucking think that... Uh, I mean, I do like Stone Cold being the guy that drinks, like, cold beers. I think that's kind of cool. Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah, <laughs> brother. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool. It is it's pretty, I bet you there's... As the you rattlesnake, say, it's pretty dude. sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guarantee there's more kids out of all the names that people have named kids after because of wrestling. I bet you Austin is the most common where a, a wrestling fan... It's like, I'm going to name my kid after a wrestler. I guarantee Austin's the most common. Steve. Yeah, I was expecting to see more stings or something, you know. Mix. Fucking, yeah. Mick yeah. <laughs> <Nick Honestly>. Foley. <laughs> yeah. Some cactuses, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Snitsky. Snitsky's, yeah. I don't know. yeah. <laughs> so, Evan. <laughs> what's mine? Uh, you had Shockmaster. Yeah. Not that defensive, but it was funny. Uh, you had Hornswoggle is really McMahon's son. What about when, uh, so we talk about Crispin Law. Do you remember the storyline they were about to start right before Crispin Law died? No. So the week before, uh, they have Vince McMahon talking to someone, and he goes off, and he gets his to, into his limo, and then his limo explodes, and that's how they ended Raw. Vince McMahon dies. Vince yeah. McMahon dies. Holy and then shit. The next week, Crispin Law killed his family, and they are like, maybe not. Let's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so they started Raw with Vince McMahon being like, we had a tragedy. And he, was, he was the ultimate sacrifice. Vince McMahon is also Jesus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he God. sacrificed himself so that Chris Benoit would kill his family. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, he came back when he was most needed. Oh, uh, I get it now. As a yeah. person who grew up in church, I should have gotten that. A res yeah, I, resurrection. Honestly, like, I barely went to church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so and then you had uh, <laughs> Muhammad Hassan. <laughs> yeah. The terrorist. The terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, yeah. I, I feel like I didn't need to share that. So. You did what? Huh? What would you say? What? What'd you say? <laughs> Don't stone cold this me. This is dude. every day. This is fucking every day. I'm so tired of it. Huh? God damn it. Let's uh, oh, Muhammad Hassan. The rest of the rest Piano. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Piano yeah. strings. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And then I had I had uh, Eddie Guerrero's in Hell. I was Randy Orton, Katie Vick, and uh, Kane, Lita, Snitsky. I feel like that's might be the biggest. Yeah, I we'll we'll let the. Wait, what about Eugene? I, I I didn't pick it first, so mm. I don't want to take it. We'll just that's hey, an honorable mention. In that draft, that should have been picked. Honorable mention. I agree. Yeah. There, there's a few. I could still try to think of more, honestly. Yeah, I think there's I could so too. many. Yeah. God damn. But there's, I remember vaguely seeing like flashes of an old woman giving birth and a bunch of wrestlers standing around her. As Mae Young when she gave birth to a hand. Yeah. For Mark Henry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was exactly, I'm just like flashing yeah. to that. Just what the there's fuck they was that? Stephanie McMahon. They sacrificed Stephanie oh McMahon to the Undertaker. God. And it's not the only crucifixion that's been in like wrestling. Right. Kurt Angle would have signed a WC uh -huh. ECW, but they, yeah. they crew, did they crucify? They, I, I, I don't know. It's is, just, it, is it Sandman that they crucified? Uh, probably, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They crucified him, and then Kurt Angle was like, He's a I'm not, good Catholic boy from Pittsburgh. Yeah, he was like, I'm not. <laughs> Wrestling for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, do you remember uh, there, there was a period where uh, um, they had Linda McMahon pretending that she was like uh, in a coma, and she would, but she was like still in a wheelchair, and like her eyes are open, and Vince McMahon would just like make out with Trish Stratus in front of her all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. that was his real wife. Yeah, that was his real. And then eventually, you remember when he made Trish Stratus like like strip and bark like. Crawl around the ring like a dog and bark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure Jesus. she's one of the chicks that like accused him of shit. I don't know. They have, she's been on there, so yeah. she's been on there recently. Yeah, Randy Orton punting Stephanie McMahon. That one's pretty crazy. Didn't he punt Stacy Keebler too? Yeah, and he punted John Cena's dad. Oh yeah, <laughs> he pulls John Cena's dad out of the crowd <laughs> and just kicks him in the head for no. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, I did that. like, oh man. 
John Cena. There's, there's a point where Edge flips Vicky Guerrero's wheelchair while yeah. she's handicapped. So. I remember that. That one's tight. <laughs> yeah. I, man, this is you are, Remember when Kane threw Shane McMahon like a... Uh, like they're you know like when uh like if you work at an arena and they have the loading docks to where like there's like a big drop like you can stand up on a platform and then there's a big drop mm-hmm. he had he like threw Shane McMahon down there yeah and then they just put the camera like they it was just like a cheap ass camera <laughs> angle yeah like, he threw him and then the camera guy walks up and he's just laying he's there just with his legs all fucked up yeah <laughs> Tom Segura type shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah I feel like I mean. But it's those kinds of shots and those kinds of promo cuts that like uh, build the storyline. Oh yeah, you know 100%. what I mean. I love those promos. Like like I love the one where Vince McMahon has his leg broken and he's in the hospital, oh, stone Steve, cold. Yeah, Steve sneaks Austin. in. It's like time to take the temperature. Yeah, then it starts beating the shit out yeah. of him on the yeah, hospital bed. And and like Sacco, the fucking Doctor Sacco, Mister Sacco guy. Yeah, is like. I brought you some you. some lady entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> you got to see this trick she does with a dog, and it's a clown. A clown yeah. walks in. Yeah. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> you know that guy? Linda? The puppet guy? No. The guy with the puppet in Denver? In, yeah, the Denver comedy guy. Oh, um, Linda, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I do not. I got Have you, you seen him go fucking uh, like all edgelord with his puppets? No. Nah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's sounds- it's weird to watch but uh <laughs> yeah. he's one of those where i have seen the puppet thing work yeah but it's like dude uh, get more puppets is that the same puppet for like two years that's now that's actually a great point yeah i didn't even think about that honestly yeah no, i'm serious Jeff Dunham has like six yeah. right yeah you gotta have more puppets a racist puppet. <laughs> at least one everybody yeah, needs I mean, one Oh, he's he's got a practice they know puppet. Their, they know their demographic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I had a puppet act, um, I think I'd, I'd at least try to be performing for children, not people at bars. Hmm. Aren't you a fucking good guy? <laughs> yeah, you're an Let's adult man. So, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wants to be around children. <laughs> 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 but it's a pretty cool trick. <laughs> yeah, it is actually pretty cool. I've seen that. <laughs> How the fuck does he do that? I've seen him do some things that just blew my mind. Man. Come on, Barbie, let's go, Barbie. Yeah, with his penis puppet, it's great. Yeah. Oh, all right. He's a little magician. Yeah, it's it's one of my uh, one of my performances that I only save for a mic when there's a lot of audience. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like a reference to Louis C.K. It's really it's really tight. Mm. It's yeah. tastefully done. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think I could see anyone else pulling it it's, off. It's Grammy Award winning. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> Pornhub again, jerking off again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Grammys. Yeah. Old women. <laughs> are, you, are you just saying so? Oh, Grammy's old woman. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> I wanted to see who would catch up for last. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, guys. All right. Let's listen to Bonkett. Yeah, I got to go. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, uh, he, there's a couple. He gets, he gets a lot out there, you know what I mean? But in, even in baseball, you only need to shoot 30%. Yeah. Uh, the Pundertaker. The Pundertaker. Pundertaker. I was so close to calling Corey Cooley the underage taker. <laughs> that's, that's good. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Under, undefeated streak. You're undefeated. He's undefeated. Well, he had one, The Undertaker. Anyway, oh. Was, anyways. It I was, get it. Yeah, we don't need to break it down for us yeah. on the pod. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have anything you want to plug? <laughs> <laughs> the sad noises are wearing off on you, man. They're rubbing off on you, man. You got it. You're the happy one. I'm the sad one, man. Come on. Yeah, I'd like to plug the bong. <laughs> <laughs> Bong cast, man. Spaghetti Jake and the Rap Bastard Bong cast. I'm currently making a comic book of the Rat Bastard and the, and the Spaghetti Jake Save the Stoned Corral. Yeah. Okay. It's a spaghetti western. Uh, 
And we are on the pod going to voice act the entire story. Okay. And add sound effects and shit to it as well. So cool. that should be actually some pretty fun Can stuff. Can you do uh, the sound of saloon doors? Oh, yeah. Dude, I got a whole wheelhouse. Saloon, saloon doors. doors. Saloon doors. I actually just had to try one. one. That was pretty good. They we, They squeak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels like I'm in a saloon. That was awesome. Uh, shink, shink. <laughs> you ain't from around here, <laughs> are you? <laughs> that was really light in the, in the distance. <laughs> See this? This we're getting into like this like aspect of we want to build stories and worlds off of like yeah, yeah. like scripts and and it's play work. It's yeah. it's yeah. acting. Like we're gonna have guests come on and they're gonna be like the narrator of that story or they're gonna play a character in that story. And so it's interesting. Yeah, a lot that's of cool. Fun. We it's played cool. around with one already that was like kind of a beta test, I guess, with the fucking fantasy Anything world. Which was a beta test, douchebag. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was. <laughs> A fantasy world, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I, I get in the zone. I get too comfortable. I'm sorry, man. You get and you get we mean, it. and you always get mean. <laughs> Come on, man. You guys should try high fiving. Yeah, yeah, we can. I thought we were gonna stick it. Okay. Hold on, we're attention. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything else you want to plug? <laughs> Do you, guys, do you guys have anything We're else good, you want to plug besides each other? We're comfortable, okay? Yeah. You guys like, are the ones bringing attention. I'm just <laughs> sick of the dumb jokes, man. Like, <laughs> I felt like Jane and Tarzan touching hands. Classic. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeah. 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 Shrek and Fiona. <laughs> 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 Shrek and Shrek. Yeah, yeah, Shrek, yeah, Shrek, yeah. Shrek. It's two Shreks. Shrek two, gay married. Shrek, Shrek. Shrek squared. Come into me, swamp. <laughs> ass. <laughs> twice the swamp, twice the ass. <laughs> Can you not be yourself for five minutes? <laughs> and in the morning. I'm making waffles. <laughs> I know that wasn't Shrek himself. God damn it, Shrek. We, I fucking love Shrek, dude. Shrek's you had time. to bring up Shrek, and that's like my favorite movie, man. Wow. You guys I'm both like something. it. Homo Shrek's rules. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, homo Shrek. Shrek con is homo Shrek rules, man. Lord fucking. Fart Quad. <laughs> Eshrekshin. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. What was the question? Uh, plugs. You're expecting Any more Prince plugs. Charming. Any more plugs? Yeah. Uh, Denver roast battle. I'm a pretty good regular. Dave just killed it at the improv roasting his girlfriend. A lot of fun. So Dave did. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, you did good job, dude. Match Thank you. Night, man. In my opinion, it was painful. <laughs> yeah. Your girlfriend yelling at you on stage. Was, you know. She wasn't yelling, but. She yelling also, that was her that was yeah that's yelling to her oh, yeah, a <laughs> couple of squeaks <laughs> it was fun um, it was a roast battle yeah yeah that episode will be out relatively soon hell yeah so if you are interested check it out yeah Ooh, it's speeding up it's an um, it's an improv show that's all why. caught up <laughs> you, got this, you got a well oiled machine man for sure well I, I lubed respect it I, yeah i'm trying to catch up when it comes to like well i'm engaged so yeah yeah Okay. <laughs> he keeps rubbing. He finds a way uh, to yeah. horn he swoggle that in. There, dude. Yeah, he yeah. gets them all. <laughs> he gets them all. <laughs> Just bragging and bragging and bragging about being married. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> follow Recreation Outrage on TikTok. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff up on there and on YouTube on Slaughterhouse Studios. And then also, uh, yeah, every week, How is Ralston Lounge. Uh, list drops at 8.30 for the open mic. Uh, the next, when does this come out? Next is Mitch Jones and then this. Mm -hmm. So the next uh, show will be February 10th. And uh, Shanae, Shanae Ross is going to be headlining that. So that'll be good. I'm excited for that. She's very good. Very She's funny. very funny. Yeah. And I also got a new room on February 2nd. Uh, Spirit Hound Tasting Room in Denver. Uh, Lizzie Wolfson's going to be headlining that February 2nd. So check Hell it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing I want to say is just um, we have uh, the championship, Roast Battle Denver champion. Like, or 
It's not even Roast Battle Denver. It's the Roast Battle World. official ch- yeah. World yeah. Championship. World Championship at the end um, of And that's going to be uh, out on YouTube, so you can see that. Denver Improv, January what, 31st? 31st. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we have, uh, in February, we have the re- uh, Roast of Ben Roy. Mm. So yeah, we'll, the we'll day is Roast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roast and Ben Roy, and that'll be tight. Yeah. yeah. I really hope I'm on that one. I'm <laughs> I think it'll be fucking <laughs> rock and roll. Crossed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet. And uh, subscribe to Slaughterhouse Studios. Woo. We uh, are about to hit 1K. I'm going to do like a little personal face on camera. Thank you for subscribing, kind of thing. Once I hit a thousand, and yeah. I'm honestly, right around the corner. So, oh, dude, yeah. yeah, man, nice. Thank you for subscribing. If you have already, subscribe. Uh, Ding that bell. If you haven't, um, yeah, click all the stuff. Smash the <laughs> like button. Yeah, hit your girlfriend. Do yeah. it all. Um, okay. <laughs> P- punt that baby. <laughs> punt that baby. No, punt don't. Pl- baby, no, I don't want to. I'm not sticking baby, with that. Punt, not signing off baby, with punting a baby. Punt, punt the baby. Punt the baby. Punt, punt the baby. Punt, punt the baby. Punt, punt, punt the baby. Punt, punt, baby. Punt, punt, punt the 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 baby. Punt, punt, baby. All right. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Luis! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't get to any of like the. Oh, oh. At all. <laughs> <laughs>